Boeing has started modification of two U.S. Navy F-A-18E Super Hornets, and the two aircraft will arrive in India in the last week of May, for a two-week-long operational demonstration of a ski jump, at the shore-based test facility at INS Hansa Naval Air Station. The Super Hornet demonstration comes weeks after two French Navy Rafale M fighter jets conducted ski jump capability demonstration at INS Hansa, which is a mandatory step in the Indian Navy's hunt for 57 multi-role carrier born fighters. The F-A-18s will be flying with two dummy harpoon missiles, which will be an attempt to show that the Rafale M has the ability to deploy only one comparable Exocet anti-ship missile on its centerline hardpoint. India has issued four NOTAM warnings for this month, for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle for the period from 8th April to 16th April, and all four missile tests have been labelled as experimental, which are usually reserved for missiles that are still under development. We had already reported in December last year, that the DRDO has started preparations for testing its 6,000 km range K-5 submarine launched ballistic missile, and this latest area warning suggests that it could be the pop-up test of the K-5 SLBM, which means that underwater rejection tests of the K-5 missile will be carried from a submerged barge, that also indicates that the K-5 SLBM can be tested in later half of this year. The Bengaluru-based private firm Kinetics Engineering Solutions Limited and UK-based company Marx Aviation had entered into an agreement in 2021, to collaborate on the development of the Eclave Loyal Wingman Stealth Drone. New pictures indicate that the Loyal Wingman Drone is currently in advanced stage of assembly. It has a length of 9 meters and wingspan of 7 meters, and features air-to-air -air refueling system, serpentine intakes and low observable design elements. It will fly at a speed of max 0.85, and will have a range of 3,880 kilometers. It will be used for counter-air combat missions, electronic intelligence, escort of manned platforms, manned-unmanned teaming and artificial intelligence-based swarming capability. National Aerospace Laboratories is developing two scaled-down models of the solar-powered high-altitude platform station, and will start its trials later this year, and the proof of concept will be proved throughout 2023, and the project will be completed by mid-2025. After formally lifting the ban on Italian firm Agusta Westland, India is planning to return the three AW101 helicopters to the Italian firm, and the agreement for their return is expected to take place soon, which will clear paths for the Italian firm to participate in future defence procurement programmes in India. The three helicopters were non-operational for nearly eight years, and would require a deep overhaul to make them flight-worthy, but India is not interested as operating only three units will be more expensive. An Israeli origin searcher Mark II unmanned aerial vehicle of the Indian Air Force has crashed in Rajasthan during a training mission, and the Air Force has ordered an inquiry to ascertain the cause of the crash. The Ministry of Defense had put around a dozen of US, French, Russian and Israeli firms on a watch list last year, and had warned them for failure to fulfill their offsets obligations. The Defense Ministry has said today, that it has imposed penalties amounting to $43 million against foreign vendors in 16 defense contracts for delay in fulfilling their offsets commitments, and some of these companies have paid the penalties to get out of the watch list. India has handed over a Dornier aircraft to the Sri Lankan Air Force, that will enable enhanced maritime patrolling of Sri Lanka's exclusive economic zone in all weather conditions. The Indian Navy has also completed the one-week training of Sri Lankan Air Force and Navy pilots in Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter Mark III last week, that included flying operations and ship deck landing. <laughs> Oh, Mark, drop it.